All right, number 39. Uh, read through the problem, blah, blah, blah. The words I'm looking for are maximize or minimize, and I don't see it till the very last sentence. It says minimi maximize profit. So I need some sort of function in, in terms of profit. Um, so go back through here and pick out some information. Um, they cost 250 and 400 but that's not that it doesn't have to do with the profit that's the cost it is to produce them the profit uh, the $250 model yields $45 and the $400 model yields $50 so my profits gonna be those two added together so if that is the objective equation, then whatever's left here has to be some sort of constraint. Um, let's read the words more. Uh, the merchant estimates that the total monthly demand will not exceed 250 units. So of all the ones we sell of that model and all the ones we sell of that model, uh, they will not exceed 250 units. So they have to be 250 or less. The merchant does not want to invest more than seventy thousand dollars. So uh, the the this the first model, the two hundred fifty dollar model, and the cost that it takes to produce the four hundred dollar model cannot exceed seventy thousand dollars. And I think we've pulled out all the information. So there's only two constraints, one objective equation. We need to get these in a form that we can do on the calculator. So y will be less than or equal to 250 minus x. And 400y will be less than or equal to 70,000 minus 250x. Or y will be less than or equal to all this divided by 400. So uh, that needs to go in the calculator and that needs to go in the calculator. And to save us some button pushing in time, look at that, they're already in the calculator. Okay. So I plotted them both. I had to do some window adjusting that's the window I used. Um, I just I took negative 20 just enough so I could see the x-axis, and uh, same thing with y. Um, and then I I picked just a bit above uh, the 250 for my x and my y. So there's my graph. Um, now to find the feasible region, we have to look at the inequalities again. Y has to be less than or equal to 250 minus x. So it has to be below this line so that cuts it into just this and this and we didn't say anything about it but we have to have greater than zero uh, zero or greater x and y because you can't make a negative an amount of products um, it has to be less than this one which ended up being uh, I think uh, yeah 175 minus 5 eighths x so it's got to be below here. So the feasible region is bounded by that point, that point, that point, and that point. Um, it's zero, zero is not going to maximize the profit. Um, so this one is, forgot the number again, this one is 175. So I have a point of zero, 175, and I have a point of whatever this is, so let's find this intersection. The second trace intersect. I want the intersection between that line and that line. It's 250. And looks like I have one more point down here. Now I could use, I could go back and plug zero in for y and find out what the x-intercept is, or I could find the zero on the calculator. Let me sh make sure what line we're on here. On the wrong line. There we go. So I gotta pick a point above the zero, hit enter, go over here until I get below the zero, hit enter, and my zero is at 250.
So these need to be plugged into the objective equation, so I got to get out of my graph. Um, for 0, 0,175, that would be 0 plus 50 times 175. That would be 8,7,87,50 profit. This one would be 45 times 200 plus 50 times 50, or 11,500. And this one would be 250 times 45 plus 0. 250 times 45 is 11,250. So to maximize the profit, he needs to make 200 of the first product and 50 of the second product.